Well, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. All right, on that note, let's talk about some snow or the lack of snow. Your future cast breaks down like this. Tomorrow, I have added some flurries potentially to Block Island. Again, this is for tomorrow. And notice what's happening here. This blue to white area right in here that could actually creep a little further to the north. If that were to happen, we would add these flurries to the south coast of Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts as well. Not going to do that just yet, but stay tuned to see if we have to make that adjustment. No matter what happens, that will not be a big deal. And then this will also not be a big deal, although it could have a little more of an impact tomorrow or on Tuesday I should say Tuesday afternoon notice some snow as possible even a little bit of rain at the coast on Tuesday afternoon that could create a few minor issues to the Tuesday evening commute we will keep you updated on that situation as well we were talking about the snow and you could see so far this year we've actually had 18 and a half inches of snow that's right around normal it just doesn't feel normal because all the snow melted very quickly after our last recent big storm live pinpoint Doppler 12 not showing anything over the top of us locally some snow and sleet actually out towards Nantucket and Cape Cod. Wind chills kind of like yesterday, low 30s to upper 20s, 29 right now in Providence, 32 for a feel like temperature in westerly. And here in Narragansett, we have partly cloudy skies. I've seen numerous people walking along the seawall with their jackets. A few had hat and gloves. Not a bad thing to have with you this morning. And at the hurricane barrier, we have the partly cloudy skies. Winds are starting a lot slower this morning. Yesterday they were going pretty early in the morning. Today they're taking a while to build up, but they will increase throughout late this morning into the afternoon as that front approaches. In fact, speaking of front and centers of low pressure, we have a big center of low pressure just to our west with the snow showers. Also some energy kind of carving around that front, which will park itself just offshore tomorrow, keeping most of the snow with it offshore, but stay tuned to see if we get just a small grazing from that snow tomorrow. For today, I don't think winds will be quite as consistent as yesterday, but still some periodic gusts of around 30 miles an hour throughout the middle to the uh, early part of the afternoon. South Coast temperatures will be in the low 40s, perhaps a few degrees warmer than yesterday with around 41 Hope Valley, 42 Wickford. Northern Rhode Island temperatures in the low 40s with 43 in East Providence, 42 here in West Wark, low 40s for Coventry. Eastern Massachusetts temperatures also in the low 40s, 42 in Attleboro, Seekonk at 43, 43 in Fall River, and 42 in Westport. All right. We were talking some Super Bowl stats because as you know, as you probably know, the past two Super Bowls, we've had a snowstorm the day after the Super Bowl. In fact, last year, it was about six inches of snow at TF Green. And then two years ago, when the Patriots beat the Seahawks, it was almost eight inches of snow at TF Green. Many spots away from the airport got a lot more snow than these numbers show you right here. So, you know, we're tracking the Monday after the Super Bowl, which coincidentally does have at least the chance of a decent snowstorm. But the models have been back and forth, so it's just something we need to watch. But it is interesting that the history of the past two years after the Super Bowl, we have seen those big snowstorms. Now we're going to backtrack to tomorrow. 37, mostly cloudy, a slight chance of some flurries along Block Island, perhaps into the south coast of Rhode Island. And then on Tuesday, I'm thinking about a coating to an inch of snow possible from Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening. Even into Wednesday morning, a few of these snow showers could linger. On Wednesday, even though it's mostly a dry day, there could be a few snow squalls late in the day moving on through. We will keep you updated on that. Notice our temperature trend. It actually does get colder. Nothing unusually frigid or record breaking, but definitely colder on the back half of the week. You can always get an updated future cast over on our website at WPRI.com. Now, Eyewitness Sports with Mark Dundere.